Welcome, I'm Joshi, and in this playthrough of Marvel Champions, we have Hulk versus Venom Goblin in standard difficulty. Um, now, Venom Goblin for Hulk, we just need to rush him down again. I think, like we've been doing for a lot of these uh, last couple of villains with the uh, Sinister Motors of the game. So, once again, we're doing aggression. There goes Mixie. I knew he was about to jump up. That's sorry, I'm out of the corner of my eye just then. Um, I've played too much Marvel Champions, so someone wants attention because I've been ignoring him. But anyway, let's. Uh, Ignore the cat further and get into the game, shall we? Come on. All right. Um, so we have skies over New York. It says to put the lower Manhattan, midtown Manhattan, and upper Manhattan main schemes into play and place the glider counter on midtown Manhattan. So there's midtown Manhattan. Uh, we have zero threat starting, two threat, and one threat. Which of these? There's now mixy hair all over the table because he's molting. And then we flip this card and set it aside. It says set it aside, but it actually is an environment card. Um, so we have player cards that affect the main scheme can apply to any main scheme. Encounter cards that affect the main scheme only apply to the scheme with the glider counter, including placing of acceleration tokens. Um, um, each main scheme accumulates threat each round according to its acceleration value and any acceleration tokens on that scheme. Mix. Stop. Okay. Um, so each of these schemes have a special. Venom Gold himself has 16 health. He's steady. Steady. And so we'll need two status cards to stun or confuse him. Uh, force response after he activates against you. Move the glider counter to the main scheme with the least threat. Choose to either place two threat on that scheme or it'll resolve its special ability. Um, and so the special abilities here, we've got discard one card from your hand. And there's a semi environment play. We have to also discard four cards from top of the deck. Uh, for Midtown, it's take two indirect damage. If a symbiote environment is in play, take one additional indirect damage. And for Lower Manhattan, place one threat on each scheme. If a symbiote environment is in play, place one additional threat on this side scheme. Um, Hulk should have 18 health, 15. And I think I'm all set. All right, so let's drop a hand. We get five cards. We have Limitless Strength, beautiful. Hulk Smash, Combat Training, Drop Kick. And skilled strike. So we just flip up and hit him for 15, right? That's what we'll do. And we'll experimental research to draw a card, discard a card, just in case we get a, a clobber. We hang on. Yep, so we'll hold on to the club, we'll throw away combat training. We'll flip up. We'll spend two resources to clobber for three damage, so deal three damage to an enemy. If this is your first card you've played this round, turn to your hand, so it comes back to our hand. Uh, so, and then we'll Hulk smash using our limitless strength for 13. To knock Goblin into stage two. Get out of here. Um, he comes in with tough. He's still steady. He's got 18 hit points now. I won't reveal deal two face down encounter cards to each player. And claim the throne. Uh, after Van Gogh activates against you, move the glider counter to the main scheme with the least threat, resolve its special ability. So we can't choose to put threat on anymore. We have to resolve the special ability. Um, and we'll throw away Clobber because that's what we do. We're ready up. We'll draw four cards. We have a Crushing Blow, we have Aggression, Crushing Blow, and a Piercing Strike. That's good. All right. Uh, where are we? So we get one threat on each of these. And Goblin's going to attack us. He's attacking us for three. We'll take it. Three plus nothing. So down to 15. Get an encounter card. So we have Violent Tendencies attached to the villain. 
So after the attachment takes any amount of damage from an attack, give attachment one face down boost card. If that attack dealt three or more damage to the attached villain, discard this card. Okay. And <laughs> we've got improvised weapons. Attach the villain. Skin and amplify. You spend one of each resource to get rid of that. That's not going to happen. So I'm reminded. And attach the villain. Uh, incendiary bombs. Cause them with two counters. And after the villain attacks, you remove one bomb counter from here. Take two indirect damage. It's giving plus one attack. This is not great. Oh, oh, sorry, after he activates against you, we're going to move the glider army. So we move it to the lowest and resolve the special. So just go one card from our hand. Um, it's going to be one of the crushing blows. So we will use the power of aggression. Deal three damage to the enemy. This attack gains piercing, so it'll take the tough off. We'll take three damage down to 15. Um, after the villain takes any amount of damage, give him a face down boost card. After that attack dealt three more damage, uh, detach and discard this card. So that one's gone. Okay. Um, we'll attack for three. Bring him down to 12. And flip down and hold on to crushing blow. Yes. No, because if I now we'll hold on to crushing blow. Or will we? No. I really want to Hulk smash. So I should I try and dig for it? Because if I did that, no. we'll throw it away. All right, we're ready up. Get five cards. We have Into the Fray, Banner's Lab, Counter Attack, Hulk smash, and a Clobber. Oh, if we get through this. All right. Um, where are we? What happens? Villain Stone. Get one throughout in each of these. Uh, it's down here. Burn Goblin's going to scheme for two. Uh, just two. Uh, boost effect here. Place one throughout in each main scheme without the glider counter. Okay, so he schemes for two on here, and we also get one threat on each of these. Uh, he act, oh sorry, plus one from the amplifier, so it should also be on five. Uh, that's when he attacks. Uh, and so move the, to the lowest, which is this, place run threat on each scheme. Okay, so one threat in each scheme. And yep, that's that. So encounter card. Smoke bombs. Fine with that. Fine with that because we flip up, we spend one, two, three, to Hulk smash, to 13, Phantom Guy is 12, Phantom Cobb is defeated. Hulk's strongest one there is. Um, that probably couldn't have gone much better, quite honestly. <laughs> um, yeah. What was that? Three, three, three turns to get him down. Yeah. So, um, there you have it, Phantom Goblin. What's the what's the fuss about? I know I know what the fuss is about. Uh yeah. If if I if this fight gone on like another round or two, I don't think I would have lasted because th these were already getting out of out of control. But that was the whole point again. Just to 
beat Venom Goblin as quickly as possible. Um, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed this game. If you did, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.